Philip, you can have the first bite. Oh my god. Um, it tastes like an ear. Okay, I am not looking forward to this. This video is actually very impromptu because this morning I asked on my Instagram what are some of like the weird food combinations that you eat and I am disgusted, surprised and intrigued about many of the responses and it would definitely be a missed opportunity not to film myself eating some of them. I gotta say, a lot of them I'm astounded by the creativity and then some I'm just, I'm thinking, who hurt you? Like, who hurt you? I want to start by this one because it's really, really tickled my pickle, really whetted my appetite. Marmite, cream cheese and honey <laughs> on a rice cake, which seems simple enough and I'm quite peckish. It is snack o'clock. If you like the video, give it a like because I'm going to go through some pain today. Also subscribe. Obviously the ratios weren't specified, so I'm just going to have to have a little guess. And you never really want a lot of Marmite because it's so strong. It's just a light layer. Maybe a bit more. Nothing can taste bad when I use this cream cheese. Nothing. Just a little bit of honey. It kind of looks good. No? Tell me you turn that down. Snack number one. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get much of the Marmite that time, so I'm gonna go in on a different edge. It's not bad. It wouldn't be my first choice, and I actually think it would be better without the honey. Too many things going on, but not too shabby. Can you see that drip? Oh. Okay, seven and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm chopping some potatoes because I'm gonna make some mash because somebody suggested mashed potatoes and tuna. Well they actually suggested mashed potatoes, pumpkin and tuna but I'm not about to go out to the shops to buy pumpkin for something that I don't even think I'm gonna like. My major concern with this one is the texture. There's just nothing to offset the smooth creaminess. Hmm. Although like just potato and tuna is nice, like a jacket potato. We will see. You see I still want to give it a chance so I'm I'm gonna make the mash nice. I'm gonna put a lot of salt in it. So, I can't be blamed. So if all else fails, at least I'll have a nice um, snack of some mash in it. Oh my God. No, I don't think you understand. This texture disgusts me. Um, I hope you feel sorry for me right about now. Um, here we go again. Okay, just proof that I have got tuna in this mouthful. And it's not just lovely mashed potato. I like tuna, I don't know why I'm complaining. Oh my God, that's good. Mm -hmm. That'd be really nice with um, a bit of hot sauce in it as well. But that's for another day. Okay, I judged prematurely. Uh, I need to try it with pumpkin because this wasn't actually the combination that was suggested technically. Still good though. This one was recommended twice. And my thinking is if something is recommended twice, it has to be good. It is, my friends. Apples with salt. Yeah, okay. Again, I just wanna prove that I'm really going for it. I'm not doing anything half-heartedly. Yeah. That is a salty piece of apple. Cheers. Oh my God. I'm just mopping up more salt. Kingly. Oh my god. Have you tried this? You need to try this. Now. Do it now. 10. 11. Hey gang, I took a brief interlude because I had a very exciting Zoom meeting. You wouldn't, I didn't have to say that because it would have been one second in YouTube time. Anyway, so this one intrigues me. Hummus and berries. It's really good, but only with good hummus. Okay, I, I see you and I hear you. Now the only way to guarantee good hummus is to make it myself, boys and girls, ladies and gents, so let's do that. We're gonna talk about how these are in a, a jar. I kinda dig it. I always add cumin into my hummus, so I'm excited to see how that goes with berries. And by excited, I mean I wanna throw up. Ooh. 
quick taste test. Mm, that's good hummus, good hummus. Now let's get some berries, regrettably. You see that? That's the hummus. I'm about to ruin perfectly good hummus here. That's horrendous. But once again, we're not doing things by halves. We've got a little bit of everything on here. Oh hell, proper spoonful. <laughs> Why am I doing this? It's not offensive, but I think that might be because blueberries are quite mild. I'm going in for another bite. And another one. I think what I'm learning here is I'm not very picky, but then I am. So I actually love eight and a half. This one does not sound weird at all. So it's basically just an excuse for me to eat some cereal, but it was mentioned twice. I've, just, I've got to say, tasting like actual cream, doubt, okay? Some crispy cereal here. Ratio, I'm just guessing a few tablespoons of yogurt. This feels so wrong. I think this is normal. Ew, that's quite distressing. Ew, it just looks like curdled milk. Anyway. Oh my God, yeah. This video is just gonna be me enjoying food for 10 minutes because that, I, I see what she's saying, it's turned into cream. It's turned into cream and cereal. Bro. Mm. Not as good as the hummus and berries or the apple. So I'm gonna give it a, a flat eight. Mm -hmm. Very enjoyable. It would be nice with flavored yogurt. Oh my God. So as soon as I saw this one mentioned, I thought, that sounds incredible. And you can't tell me, it doesn't sound good. Ice cream and peas. This ice cream has been sitting out for too long. So it's really runny, which isn't the best. And for starters, it's not the best ice cream anyway. It's like an own brand dairy-free one from Aldi. So not the greatest. And I don't want that to affect how much I enjoy this, but you can have the first bite. Okay. Mm, I like it. Um, well, I don't know what to say. I think if the ice cream was nicer, the thing is all I can taste is like coconut oil because that's how this ice cream tastes to me. If it was nice for ice cream, I feel bad, but I'm gonna have to give it a four. I'm going for one more bite. No, I blame the ice cream. Mm. Two of my favorite things combined. Oh my God, they are out of date. <laughs> I was gonna try. Olives and almond butter, but holy hell. Are not it. They are not it. I don't have any fresh oregano, so I'm just gonna do some dried. That looks horrific. I like a strawberry on a salad, so sounds fine. That's also just a lot of vinegar that I've got on. Anyway, cheers. Dude, dude. I can't believe it. That is a whole load of wow. I love it. I think it would be nicer with like a thicker balsamic glaze, but currently I only have this watery nonsense masquerading as balsamic. I'll take it though. My buddy Claire recommended almond butter and garlic powder. And originally I said, Claire, listen babe, are you okay? And then I thought about it and I realized, well, it's just kind of like you're making a saute dressing like you would with peanut butter, garlic, soy sauce. So I'm gonna try exactly that. And it would be wrong of me to hate on something without actually trying it, you know? I don't know how much to put on. Okay, that's too much. Interesting. Oh my God, no way. Okay, the almond butter is stuck to every crevice of my mouth. But other than that, that's kind of good, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, seven and a half. Mushrooms. I can't tell if this person's Mushrooms. joking or not. I think they are. I think they're just laughing at me. But I'm gonna try it anyway. As much as I like mushrooms, I don't actually rate raw mushrooms that highly. I know people say, Oh, it's mush. I don't think so. I don't think they are. <clears throat> yeah, okay, raw mushroom. <laughs> Mustard. This has got to be a joke. That has to be a joke. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not being dramatic. That texture's vulgar. <laughs> what the heck? It tastes like an ear. That, that was Dijon mustard as well, which I would normally just use in cooking because it's really quite strong and spicy. <gasps> Raw mushrooms are not nice. That is not nice. That's some pregnancy shit, that. Thank you, but no thank you. Whoever said that, why? 
Okay, I'm editing the video now and of course I didn't sign off because why would I? That's... Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want me to do part two of this, then I definitely can because there are infinite amount of disgusting things that I can try. Yeah, actually most of them were pretty good. So if you enjoyed, let me know. I'll see you later. Much love. Bye.